Hello, beautiful friends. I'm Sherilyn, the happy stylist. And wait, what's wrong with this picture? I'll give you a minute. The happy stylist doesn't have lipstick on. Oh my goodness. I always wear lipstick. It's one of those things that if people say you're stranded on an island, what piece of makeup would you take with you? It would be lipstick. I totally feel naked on my lips right now, my mouth. I just feel naked. <laughs> That's what this show's about today. I'm going to um, show you a lipstick and a real quick trip, a, a trick, I do that a lot, tip trick, on how to, if you have a lipstick that you're not especially fond of as far as the color goes, but you really like the way it feels and maybe you invested some money in it, it's just a great lipstick, but every time you put it on, you're, you just kind of feel drab and maybe like you don't have any color in your face and you think, I really want this lipstick to work. You know how us ladies are. We don't give up very easily, especially when we spent some money on something and you want to make it work. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I got for Christmas some Doll 10 products. And if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you'll know I really like their hydrogel blush. It's really creamy. Well, this blush is called a Barely Blush or Barely Blushing. I'll put it in my description. And it's kind of a plummy mauve brown. And I like it because it's a very nice natural color. And I'm going to show you quickly how to put that on. And then we're going to do the lipstick and I'm going to show you the, the trick, okay? So. So this right here, if you want to take clean fingers, and I'm going to do it with a brush, a stiff brush. So you want to dip into the palette like this, and what you want to do is go ahead and make some dots right here. If this brush is going to work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see how I did like a C right up into my hairline. Okay, now the rule of thumb when you're blushing, because a lot of people don't know how to put on blush, you don't want to make your, you can actually make yourself look older if you don't put the right color on, you don't blend properly, and the positioning is wrong. Those are the three things that you need to know about makeup. Okay, so when you're applying your makeup, so you want to go with the middle of your eye, and you don't want to go any lower than the bottom of your nostril if you were to bring that around with that invisible line, okay? So, otherwise, you're going to look like your cheeks are falling. And since gravity takes its toll on us anyway as we get older, you want to keep everything lifted up and like this. All the attention to be right in here because in your face and your skin looks toner, you look younger. I'm serious. If you'll watch my tutorials and if you'll follow my instructions, you will look younger. Okay, so now we're going to blend. So you can do it with your finger or... You can take a blender sponge, okay? So we're just gonna blend that in. And first we've of course put our foundation on and you just would adjust that as much as you need if you like a little more. I like a strong blush, so I'm gonna put a little more on. And if you get a little bit too much on, you can just go ahead and put your foundation over that. I like to bring it in on the apples of my cheek because I like to um, look like a little sun-kissed look. Okay, you don't want to have any lines. You don't want to see like a circle, like a ring around your eye. So you just blend until you're comfortable. And if you get too much on, you blend off. And the other thing that I do is I really, um, my favorite foundation, especially right now, as I'm getting older and as you start to see lines pop up that you're like, oh, where did that come from? I didn't see that before. There it is. Just overnight, there it is. So anyway, I really like this um, It Celebration Foundation. It is just, it's a powder, but it's got so many conditioning peptics and, oh, I don't know what she all puts in there, but it's really great. And it's also got a SUV in it of 50, as I drop it. Anyway, you can just go ahead and powder right over your blush and tone it down if you like and just smooth out a little, any of those um, lines that you have. Okay, I'm, I'm reaching down to get it. This, <laughs> I'm like Ellen DeGeneres. It's just real life. And this is how we roll, right? This is how we roll. Okay, so go ahead and just blend that in. Okay, and I do have some on the other side. All right, so now you want to know that great trick. Okay, so the lipstick that came with that kit, with the Doll 10 kit, because it was a kit for Christmas, it wasn't sold separately. The blush alone is $16, which is very, that's a great price. The lipstick's about $18. So here's a lipstick. Okay, this is called Delicate Doll, and I picked this out because I really love the creaminess of it, but if you look at this color, and you're not going to be able to tell with the lighting in here because it looks kind of like a pinky, mauve color, but it actually, it actually, I got some lipstick on there when I was practicing. Okay, let, let me wipe that off. That's so funny. Okay, because there was another color on there because I was blending. Um, this is actually kind of a, a brown, but it's, it has a lot of peach undertones, and I don't look so great with the peach undertones, so I want to wear more of a cool undertone. It needs to either be like a mauve plum um, brown, or it needs to be a little bit of a pink one, not a coral or an orange base or a peach one. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on with no um, 
with no uh, lip liner. Oh, 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 trick, trick, trick. Again, I'm gonna give you lots of fab, amazing tips because I'm gonna do that in this one throughout every single um, tutorial that I do, every single video that I post, I'm trying to do a fab, amazing tip. And there'll be another one in this show, but this is kind of doubles. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and prime your lips. Again, as we get older, you start to see those creases and you're like, where did that come from? Uh. Anyway, so go ahead and just take your foundation or you can use cover up, you know, some concealer and just go right around your lip line. You can even go on your lips to kind of prime your lips. Make sure they're clean, of course. And then I'm just gonna take the lipstick. Can we get closer, closer, closer? And I don't know if you'll be able to tell. You know, videos don't always turn out the way you plan them, so we're just gonna roll with this one. Trust me when I say this is a little bit too peach for my skin tone. You're probably like, ah, oh, actually, I think that looks pretty good on you. Pretty good on you, happy stylist. But it really is, it's a little too peach for me. If you were to see it in the daylight. All right, just trust me, it is. Okay, <laughs> but I love the creaminess of this. It's really nice. So I can make it more me and still keep my lipstick, which was about $18, because I really love it. It's creamy and it's, it's luscious and it nourishes my lips. And so what I'll do is I'll take this NYX. This is a NYX. This is, or NYX, whatever you want to call it. This is that, um, it's kind of that stay all lipstick. So it's a little drier and it's a matte. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just put a couple dots. I'm pretty good. I'm like a ventriloquist. I can kind of talk without moving my lips. Ha ha ha. I got skills, y'all. I got real skills. And then you just kind of do like that. You know, adjust it to what you want. Um, the thing about this type of stuff is sometimes it dries out your lips. So if you pair it with this delicate, luscious, nourishing doll 10, then you have a lipstick that stays on longer, maybe not all day, but it's still luscious. It hydrates your lips because these tend to be a little drier. And then you just blend it in. You could take your finger or a lip brush. And now I've changed the color. And again, you don't have to put as much pink as I put in. Some people don't like pink, so maybe you would want to do more of a burgundy, like a wine color. Just do a little bit of that, like a stay all lipstick, blend it in, and voila, then I feel more comfortable. I feel brighter, and I feel like I, I'm not naked anymore, or too peachy, or drab. So for me, this is more my fashion personality, more of a rose-colored um, pop of a lipstick, okay? Just a little more pinker. Ta-da! There's your Fab Amazing and tutorial for today. Okay, so now it's time for a fab amazing tip. I have a lot of people ask me, Cheryl Lynn, happy stylist, what do you do to get rid of all the fallout or the bleed off of your makeup? Like when you wake up the next day, you think you've taken all your makeup off the night before in the shower or in your sink and you go to sleep and you open up your eyes the next day and you go to put on your makeup and you're like, oh my gosh, I have all this runoff all over my face, why? Well, a lot of times your mascara or your eyeliner is stuck in the very base of your eyelashes. So it tends to fall out or run down, if you will. So what I do is, I one of the best, to me, one of the best eye makeup removers is this Mary Kay make, eye makeup remover. You can put a little bit in a container and dip your um, Q-tip in it and just get off any residual. Now, of course, when you're doing that, it's getting in your eyelashes and it's also getting underneath your eyes. So you don't, you need to get that off. Otherwise, your mascara or your eyeliner especially won't go on very well. How many times have I, I know for me, how many times have you gone in the morning and after you've taken off a little bit of whatever, if you've used something to take off your um, runoff, then you go to put your eyeliner on and it doesn't seem to go and you're like, it's not, it's not working. You take it and you write it on your hand. You're like, it's going on my hand just fine. Why can't I get it under my eye? Well, you might have a little bit of um, a moisturizer under there, or you might have some makeup remover if you did that, or um, a little bit of oils um, if you're taking it off with a, an oil, like an olive oil or something. And that's the other thing. Another way to get um, that residual bleed off or fall off is to use like a grapeseed oil because this oil is absorbed. You don't want to use an olive oil because it doesn't absorb it. You can, but it doesn't absorb into your skin as well, and it tends to sit on the top, and then you want you don't want to get it in your eye and have your eyelashes all have a bunch of oil in it. So what I do is either use a grapeseed oil or I use the um, Mary Kay. And so after I'm done using it, I'll take a warm wet washcloth and just go around my eyes very gently outside in, get it out of my eyelashes or take a Q-tip, dip it in some warm water and just kind of 
Now be careful, you don't want to get the fuzzies in your lashes because then all day long you'll feel like there's something in your eye. So be very careful. and Or take a, a, a very wet um, cotton ball, saturate it with water, warm water, and just get the residual off. So that way, when you put your moisturizer on and then you wait, what? right? Five to 10, maybe 15 minutes before you, I would do 10 to 15 minutes before you put on your foundation. After you put your moisturizer on, then you'll be able to have a clean surface under your eyes and in your eyelashes. So the mascara will go on properly. And so the eyeliner will also, and it won't bleed down because well, depending on what kind of product you use, but if you use the right product and there's no oil residual or any makeup remover on there, you'll, you won't have the bleed off. It'll stay on. So that's one of my fab amazing tips. Maybe you already knew it, um, but I like to share my, um, my techniques or my tips for getting off makeup when you have that last little bit. I hope you enjoyed our show today. Remember our motto. We're going to learn laugh lots, and live younger, and be the best you that you can be. Thanks, and remember, you're gorgeous. Yes, you are.